hello lovelies welcome to my channel once again in this video i'm going to show you how to make this lovely t-shirt yarn necklace and for this necklace you don't need to know how to knit or crochet it's something that you can simply do with your hands yeah so it's very easy i use t-shirt yarn but if you don't have t-shirt yarn or if you're lazy to braid you can use a rope yeah so let's just get right into it but before we do that may you please subscribe to my channel and turn on that notification bell okay so let's start to begin you're going to need a tip measure two stitch markers or something to just mark two three strands of t-shirt yarn and you're going to measure roughly maybe four meters 0.5 you're going to braid this and the braid should be four meters um, this is a little bit long, but it's better to work with something longer than something short and the scissors okay, So to begin you're going to take your three strands and you're going to make a simple knot like this hmm? Then after that you're going to braid like this because the braiding that we need to do is very long it's better to tie it on some furniture than you braid I tied when I was braiding I tied it on the fridge because my fridge is long yeah then I braided so this part is like the most difficult part but like once you get it get over it then it's fine okay so let's get to the other parts I've already done mine Okay, so I've already braided the, what do you call it, my one already. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to take my tape measure. So I'm going to take my measuring tape and I'm going to measure approximately 35 centimeters. Again, it's better to work with more than less. Then I'm going to put my stitch marker like this. Then after that, I'm going to measure 30 centimeters. around somewhere here then I'll put another stitch marker so now what I'm going to do I'm going to take my braided uh, t-shirt yarn and I'm going to make a curve like this like this so this is where we started right so I made a curve like this then I'm going to take this one and put it on top of this one like that so after I do that I'm going to forget about this one altogether right and I'm going to hold this part and I'll be working with this yarn with this one only so what I'm going to do I'm going to be putting above and under so above this one and under this one then above okay so like this above this this braid and under this braid then I pull my yarn okay so now the braid is this side and now I'm going to put it above this one like this and under this one like that I'm going to turn my thing so that you can right so I'll be doing that above and under hold on above under then above then under this one Let me do it one more. So if this one is above this one, like this, then and but under this one, and under that one. Okay, I've untangled my yarn, so I'm going to continue to do that. And onto the side, then I'll just pull my yarn because it's really long, so that it doesn't get too tangled. that then under this one under this one 
something over it like that so as you can see you're like forming these interlocking loops right so I'm going to do it until maybe somewhere here then I come back okay I've removed my stitch marker and I've done quite a bit so it's now under that so I'm going up then under again then now we're going on top of this one then under I like that <coughs> above then under <coughs> so I'm gonna do it until I get to the very end trying to make sure that it's tight all the way I'm going to literally do it until there isn't any space okay so I think this is good enough now I'm going to insert it in there can still do one more I think it's really tight still I think I can squeeze in okay the last one now I'm going to insert it in there Ooh, it's really tight it so now what I'm going to do I'm going to shape my necklace into the shape that I want like this then now um, after you're doing this I'm going to unravel this knots the knots at the very end and I'll come back Okay, so I decided to embellish the necklace a little bit with some beads. These are eight millimeter uh, gold beads. Um, so I'm going to try to put the beads inside the three strands. I'm going to use a bobby pin to just help me to put the t-shirt yarn in. Okay, so I've put the beads inside my braid, and they're literally it's a, like a perfect fit. It's quite nicely. So you don't need to do anything to it. It won't move. So I've just put two on this side and two on the other side. After this, the only thing now that's left is to uh, make sure that the remaining braid is the same size. You side that one that we measured 30 centimeters in the first, the very beginning. We're just going to make a knot like this. Make it tight. And we cut the rest of the excess. scissors is not that sharp okay so at this point our necklace is done it's ready for wear you can wear it on both sides and yeah the that's it